This is a little instructional video about the Kershaw leak knife. Most people will have no trouble opening and closing the knife. The directions are actually not bad. Well, they're not bad if you're anybody but me. We're going to blame low vision and hand-eye coordination for my utter failure to figure out how to primarily close, opening wasn't too hard, the knife. Paul Hahn, who I've known for 20 years, good friend and a hiker like myself, backpacker, long distance backpacker, has done the, App done the Appalachian Trail as a through hike and done many other things, has had a Kershaw leak knife like this one for a long time. And he made a tiny little instructional video to help me figure out how to close the knife. Now that I've seen it and reread the directions, it's pretty obvious how it works, and it's a very nice design. Normally on a backpacking trip, I would just take a Swiss Army Micro. I like the scissors, that's the thing I use the most on that blade. But the knife on the Swiss Army Micro is really a little too small for cutting things like, say, pieces of cheddar cheese off of the larger hunk. So I decided, even though the Kershaw weighs a couple of ounces, certainly more a couple ounces more than the Swiss Army Micro, to start carrying this knife with me. And then I discovered my problem when I bought it. Hence, Paul Hahn's video, which I'm about to share. I hope you find it useful. Here's my Kershaw knife. I'm going to open it by pushing it with my pointer finger or index finger and it pops open like that. I'll do that one more time after I close it. Okay. Push this little button right here and pow, it's open. Okay, now holding it the exact same way, I am now in my left hand, I'm holding it in my left hand I am taking my thumb and placing it just below the blade and I feel a little indentation on the right side of the knife here. Right here there's an indentation. I put my thumb in that indentation and I swipe left, releasing the locking mechanism. I'm going to move my thumb out of the way so you can see the locking mechanism now. That right there is the locking mechanism. Swipe it out of the way. Swipe it out of the way. So I do it nice and close to that. Back side of the blade, I swipe that out of the way and I push up with my index finger to close the blade. Okay, so pop it open. Just reach across with my thumb on my left hand. Swipe to my left and I can close the blade. Now I'm going to do it right handed. Got to switch my phone. Say hi, Ben. Hi. Okay, so here we go again. Knife open. This time I'm putting my right thumb up there and I find it easier with my right hand and I'm pushing to the left across and I'm closing with my index finger, get my thumb out of the way and close the knife. Side view, push down or across to the left, close the blade with my index finger. Ergonomically designed so that you don't have to move your hand off the knife. I hope this helps, Ken. Send me the bill for your band-aids. Bye.